tiny friends. Welcome back to Tiny Keyhole Minis. I'm Jolene and today is going to be a gift exchange, a miniature gift exchange with Little Gretchen's Workshop. So Gretchen and I had been talking and amongst our conversations we realized that we had both been wanting to send each other something but we were both feeling the same way. Like, what could we possibly send to her that she can't make herself? So uh, Gretchen asked me if she can send me something. And we talked about it. And I thought, you know what? This is a perfect opportunity for me to send her something. So yes, I would be honored for you to send me something as long as I get to send you something as well. And we just realized that we had been feeling this way for a very long time it's been so long that I've been thinking, gosh, I really want to send her something. And she had felt the same way. And we just laughed about that. Now, I had an idea, maybe two ideas of what I could send to her. Um, but it wasn't until I saw her episode of the dolls where they announced that there would be a wedding between Marguerite and Saudi that all these ideas came flooding through. So I created all these fun, functional little things filled with little surprises for her and made it super fun for her to open it up. So if you would like to see what I created for her and sent to her, please click the link in the box below and go over to her channel and check it out. And if you have not subscribed to Little Gretchen's Workshop, make sure to do that because you are missing out if you are not watching her channel. I absolutely adore her and I adore all of her miniature makes. I adore her stories and her doll's house and all of her dolls. She has a family of dolls and each individual doll has their own story and their own history and I, I just absolutely love it. I, it is one of my favorite places to go. Little Gretchen's Workshop. So thank you so much Gretchen for sending me this wonderful package and I hope you enjoy what I created for you. So let's go see what she sent me because I'm super excited. <laughs> Okay, so I got a little card. I will read that. And a little Gretchen's Workshop card. Good morning, dolls. How cute is that? Okay, tiny friends. So I read her little letter and her card. And um, now let's see what's inside the box. Let's do this first since I pretty much know what this is from our conversations. Oh, tiny friends. Margot's son is home and he is here to stay with her and help her. And I just love, love, love him. I love his outfit. I love his little tiny buttons. Oh my goodness. Now I'm getting to see how tiny buttons really should be because I ordered some and I was thinking if they're not small enough, I'll use them for something else. But look at this adorable outfit of his. Now Gretchen clothed him and I love how she makes her clothes. I love, love, love it. Got little pleats in the sleeves his little suspenders, his collar. I love when she makes doll clothes and she shows them on her channel. Look at this, little pleats, look at that. I don't know if you can see him, but oh my gosh. So adorable, and his pants, look at his pants are pleated. She is wonderful at creating clothes for her dolls, absolutely wonderful. Now this doll, was or this I'm just trying to check out his boots tiny friends he's got boots on and oh my gosh 
This doll is a Sherry Colvin doll. And she said it was a kit that she had put together and she had wigged him and then she unwigged him. And she thought he would be a wonderful doll as Miss Margot's son. And I said, absolutely, I would love to have him for Miss Margot's son. And look, he's got a little double chin. And it, I know it's hard to tell because of his hair, but he has a little double chin. <laughs> and so she had facial hair on him. She had wigged him. And then she unwigged him. So that's why she put this hat on him. So we didn't see what's underneath. But I am going to just fix him up a little bit. I love his clothes. So I'm going to leave his outfit as is. But I'll give him a little bit of hair, fix up his hair a little bit, and then put his hat back on. So she made the hat, and I actually seen, I don't know if it was this one or one of these, in the roaming house. So thank you so much, Gretchen, for sending me a hat. It is perfect for him to work on the farm. So he is here to stay. Miss Marco is going to be so excited to see him, and I am definitely going to get an episode on him reuniting with Miss Margot. So that will be coming up uh, sometime in the near future. But absolutely, I absolutely love him. And I think he's going to make a great, great son for Miss Margot. He has bendable arms, so bendable legs. Yeah, what a great kit, a Sherry Colvin doll kit. I really have to look into those and see, uh, just see what they're all about. If I can find any of those, I'll have to do a search on those. But Gretchen, I absolutely love his outfit. Look at this shirt. It is a perfect plaid pattern for 112 scale. So please tell me, did his clothes come with the kit as well? Or did you make the clothes yourself? Because I've watched you make your clothes and, the, you know, you're pretty good at it. <laughs> and I just love the pattern. It just fits perfectly to scale. So, oh my gosh, tiny little plaid. And look at his little pants. Even the pattern on his pants fit perfectly to scale. So, look at that. <laughs> so, meet. Miss Margot's son, he'll be making his debut soon. But on his way home, she told me that he made a few stops uh, to pick some things up for his mother. He passed through a small town where he stopped at a dress shop, picked up a few gifts for his mother, and he went into the general store and picked up some items. He also stopped at a cafe to pick up something sweet. So let's see the wonderful surprises that he purchased for his mother on his way home. How thoughtful is that? Oh, he stands on his own. How cute. Okay, I can't really see. Let's put him over to the side. Okay, there we go. So let's see what else he brought for Miss Marco for his lovely mother. He stopped by a dress shop. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's lovely. Look at the band. Oh my gosh. Oh, it really works. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is lovely. See, I love all the trimming all the trimming that you use I just I need to find trimming like that for for clothing and projects I don't have any of that kind of trimming and I'm always watching Gretchen use that type of stuff on her clothing and her projects I just need to find some of that 
Let's see what he picked out for Miss Margo. Oh my goodness, he picked her out a lovely sun hat. And she is going to absolutely adore this. This is great. Boy, he's got good taste. He must know his mother. Because she is going to love this. It's a beautiful little hat. This is lovely. Thank you so much. Oh, she's going to love it. And I just love, love, love the hat box. Oh my goodness. And I'm just going to set it aside here because uh, when I do his debut and he gets to see his mother, he'll be able to give these gifts to her. And we'll see them once again. We'll see her reaction to it. So I, I'm not sure what this is. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <gasps> shoe shine. Is this a shoe shine box? This is shoe polish. And this must be for the shoe. Is this a shoe shine box? This is lovely. <laughs> oh, and she signed it. This is adorable. Absolutely adorable, Gretchen. Is this a shoe shine box? Please let me know. I'm thinking it really is. <laughs> this is awesome. At first, I'm thinking this was a scrub brush for her kitchen. And then I had to think about it because I knew it was something else. And it has to be a shoe shine box, right? With a little polish, the shoe polish, and the brush. And I'm going to add a little rag to that for extra shine <laughs> a little rubbing rag thank you so much that is adorable that is so stinking cute okay so we have a few bags in here so he had purchased some things for his mom let's see what he purchased for miss margo Looks like we have some beautiful perfume bottles and a bottle filled of whatever I would like it to be. If it's anything specific, Gretchen, please tell me in the comments below. It could be anything I would like it to be. And that's what's great about it. I don't know. Am I... Am I, I don't know, I had to think about the shoe shine box, but um, we have some lovely perfume bottles. And I love these because although I can make my own, somebody else has made these with different beads that I will, you know, I don't have or different styles that I'm not going to think of. And these are lovely, Gretchen. Thank you so much because I'll be doing her room soon. And although I did purchase some bottles I have made some bottles you know she can always use more bottles or I can always use bottles um for eating money which is going to be one of the dolls coming up and uh I don't want to give too much away about her but uh she will definitely need some things as well so thank you so much Gretchen for the perfume bottles I love them I adore all of your miniature makes I absolutely adore everything you make what does she send me some beautiful pictures oh some lovely pictures that i can frame Ooh, oh yeah some perfect pictures for the farm right on i've already got i've got a rooster picture in the kitchen <laughs> But yes, I am definitely going to frame these. And oh, that, those are cute. Those are so cute. I love it. <laughs> and oh, what a beautiful scene. Oh, beautiful. And I did say I was going to be adding more farmhouses to the one wall upstairs. And I just love it. Thank you so much. So these are definitely going to go up. Miss Margot is definitely going to love those. 
Look what she sent me, tiny friends. Oh my goodness, this must be her son's stuff. Or maybe belonged to her husband. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, we have a lovely little razor. What? <laughs> I love it. It looks like he could use another shave, couldn't he? <laughs> He could definitely use this razor. <laughs> and oh gosh, this is great. I wish I had more of these because, ah, oh, although I am probably going to use it on a dresser. Or I don't know. I think he's going to have to room upstairs in the attic. But if I had more of these, I would make more of those antique standing ashtrays that I made and here's an example of the one I made but I can make really make some more realistic looking ones with this okay Miss Margo's not a smoker but there have been people in the house that have smoked she just hasn't cleaned out the ashtray yet because there are some with lipstick stains from one of her friends that have come to visit. So instead of using this as an ashtray, I could use it as a little dish on the dresser, as a little plate. I've seen that before. Oh my goodness, look how cute this little wallet is with money. Ah, oh, adorable little gentleman's dish for his dresser. There it is. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you so much. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I don't have a lot of men's things, and I definitely appreciate that. So he stopped at the general store, and he brought back some sweets and some grocery items, it looks like, for Miss Margo. Maybe Miss Margo's going to be, be making dinner, and he knows so. I believe that back in the day, you know, the son would very well or a husband that hasn't been home in a while would very well bring some groceries to the house and you know that's kind of like a courtesy thing or a respect thing like you would bring groceries to your mother to have her make dinner or you know yeah that is totally Uh, accurate I guess yeah I would say that is definitely what a son or a husband or a brother a man and you know going to visit a relative would definitely do I've seen it several times so this does have something in it I love the paper bag I love that she used like real paper bag I have to get my tweezers to pull this out. If this is a food item that you have made, Gretchen. <gasps> oh, it is. It's a food item. It's a sweet potato. It's sweet potato pie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, look at the crust. The crust looks like it would really look if it was homemade, it would look like that. Oh, I know my pies have in the past. Oh, maybe I'll put a little dollop of cream on that. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Oh, she's going to love this. And he is a lovely son to bring her home. All these surprises and these grocery items. And we have some fruits for a fruit bowl. This apple really looks real. The color on that and everything. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see this. So we've got some apples and I am, I just, I love your foods. I love your foods. Oh, okay. This is the stem part. I love, love, love when you make foods. I love watching you make your foods, Gretchen. It's just so adorable. Oh my gosh, they look just, they just look so good. Look at this banana. 
oh my goodness, this is definitely going to go in a bowl in her kitchen. We got some oranges. We got some a lemon. We got, I think this might be a pear or maybe another apple. I'm not really sure. It's just more fruit. We've got some peaches. Look at these peaches. <laughs> and a plum or a date or a fig. Yeah, I like it. A fig. <laughs> they would eat figs back then. I love this. Thank you so much. I am definitely going to put that in a nice bowl. And I believe I have one to put that in. Oh my goodness. And look, they came in the little shopping bags, which trust me, I am recycling. So I will definitely add this into the kitchen somewhere. You know, I can't just stash it away. It needs to be seen. Miss Margot is a you know, frugal woman. She would recycle it and use it again. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Gretchen. So we have some starch. This is great because I don't have a lot of kitchen items and I'll be back in the kitchen soon. Oh, we've got some Kellogg's toasted cornflakes. And she does eat this cereal because it is in the kitchen. There's, you can hear the. <laughs> I love that you put something in there so you can hear it. I'm pretty sure it's glued and I think it's just for the rattle, the, the sound that, yeah, there's soda in there. Now I'm going to be shaking all of them. <laughs> so cute. Looks like dish soap, dish powder, laundry powder. Looks like it's bath soap, bath bubbles. There's a wash tub, so I'm assuming laundry powder. What do we got? <gasps> Some puffed wheat. All right. Some puffed wheat, Quaker puffed wheat. She enjoys her puffed wheat. I'm still shaking things. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. I'm still shaking, shaking the last one. Oh, we got some meal mix, cornmeal mix maybe for cornbreads. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with that for sure. Uh, it looks like Margo will be making some dinner. She's going to be making some cornbread and she's definitely going to appreciate these groceries, the fresh fruit that her son brought her, the sweet potato pie for sure. Margo is going to have to make a dinner for her son's debut. So I'm going to have to do that. You know, I'll make some food and they can sit in the kitchen and have a nice lovely dinner together. I don't get a lot of time to make food, so I'm sure it's not going to look as good as Gretchen's, but I have watched her make plenty of different types of food, and I'm going to try my best to make some sort of meal for them, <laughs> but I do have an idea to make some cornbread in a skillet uh, because I love making cornbread in a skillet. It's so delicious, especially if you put like brown sugar and some butter on the very bottom of the skillet. Oh gosh, it's so good. So I plan on doing that. Okay, tiny friends, before I was able to upload this video, I got a second box today from Little Gretchen's Workshop. <laughs> and I have no idea what's in this one. So let's see. I have no idea what is in here. Okay, tiny friends, I read her lovely letter and she wanted to send me a few extra things. 
So let's see what she sent me. There's a really pretty velvety black bag. It's like a little pouch and it has stuff in it. Oh, I'm just so in awe that she sent a second box. Oh, she sent craft supplies. These are little bingo chips. Are they, oh my gosh, I haven't seen these since I was a little girl. And I would go to bingo with my mom. These are the magnet kinds. You know what, tiny friends? I actually have a magnet wand still to this day. <laughs> One of the last places my mom and I went to bingo, uh, they still played on hard boards. And uh, they still had these fancy chips. So I purchased, you know, some with a magnet wand so I could be fancy. <laughs> I wonder what I could do with these. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh. A nice little... I, it, this feels like glass nice little glass piece maybe a little disc let's see what else oh there's another one these are nice these would be like nice glass table oh I think I know what I can use these for thank you Gretchen okay so we have those and those and Oh my gosh, look at this fabric. She said this fabric was is actually a, from a miniature kit. And it's a pattern for something. It's really, really awesome. <gasps> is this a pattern for like a suitcase or? Looks like some kind of, maybe it was um, upholstery. For furniture I don't know but this is pretty neat now I'm like wondering what I'm gonna make with it, it kind of looks like it could be suitcases that's neat I'm excited to do something with this for sure she says she thought that the green pattern the pattern looked kind of 40s and I love the pattern I think it's pretty neat I can't wait to use this stuff I'm gonna find something to use it for Oh my goodness, she's got all kinds of stuff in here, tiny friends. Gretchen. Oh, wow. I already see what these can be used for. These are neat. Wow, I'm, I'm seeing a couple different ideas. I'm seeing like maybe some flower urns. For outside the first thing I thought of was like a cake a cake uh, I don't know you call those you know those glass cake jars that kind of look like that with the plates but they kind of look like f flower urns for outdoors these are neat that's for sure so there's four of these Ooh, some really pretty beads. These are turquoise. Nice. Oh my goodness. What is it? Oh, oh. You guys. This is lovely. Uh, Miss Marco has got a little blue and white pottery collection in the kitchen. And it's... You know, I always thought of it as the Dutch, you know, collection because it's blue and white. And this is going to look fabulous. Thank you so much. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely little vase. Oh, my goodness. I'm still like... <laughs> Gretchen. Thank you so much, Gretchen. I love you. I love you so much. 
I'm going to just fold this up and set it aside here because we have more to take out. Okay, let's see what is next. She literally packed this box. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I already see what this is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Gretchen, I love this. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh! I'm speechless. And I see how you made this. This is fabulous. What a lovely bag. Oh my gosh. Tiny friends, how precious is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know what to say. This is beautiful. And it's signed. There's a little pocket inside. There's a little pocket in here. Look at that. There is a little pocket in there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is lovely. And you know what? I have some of this embroidery. Gretchen, I'm going to have to copy this idea. I love this so much. And I'm telling you, you should definitely have a little Etsy shop or something because these are adorable. Oh my gosh. This is so lovely. Oh, I just, I just love this. Oh my gosh. That, what? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. And I have these materials, except for this lovely trimming that I love so much. I'm going to have to find some. I'm going to have to go to the fabric store and look and see if they have some of that stuff or something with that on there that I can trim off. I adore that little bag, Gretchen. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with that bag. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. She said she sent some something for dinner. <gasps> oh, this is too much. Gretchen, this is too much. Oh, you know I love your foods. Look at the garnish on that and the little orange the carrots. The little carrots. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guess what, tiny friends? I don't have to make a full dinner. <laughs> I don't have to make a full dinner for Margot's son's debut and their dinner together because this turkey or chicken is fabulous looking. I just love, love, love your foods. Did you sign it? Yes. She signed the bottom. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm still going to make the cornbread with the skillet. You guys got to try it. Um, honey on your cornbread is so good too. Oh my goodness. Okay. I can't get past the bag and the chicken. I, I'm going to say chicken because I would prefer chicken, roasted chicken over turkey. Can you guys see that? Let me bring you down some. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is too much, Gretchen. Thank you so much. Uh, you did not have to send me a second box. But... Gosh, this is so fun. You, you're right. <laughs> this is so fun. I had so much fun creating your little miniatures. What is in here? Oh, a beautiful little lamp. Oh, look at you. She signed everything. I love it. Oh, my God. I love that this is made out of a toothpaste cap or some sort of little <laughs> toilet oh 
gosh, this is great. This is lovely. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Oh my gosh, this is just amazing. You're so amazing. I really hope you love my miniatures as much as I love yours. Because when I look at, I always think when I look at somebody else's miniatures, my miniatures just cannot compare. And that, you know, I guess it's just being an artist, we're our own worst critics. Okay, so what is this? <gasps> Clothes! Oh my gosh! Clothes! Ah! A little sweater jacket, a little striped shirt, a little sweater, a little Hawaiian shirt, a little pants. <laughs> <Get that. laughs> oh my gosh, that is too much. I can't even get past that. It's just so adorable. Oh my gosh. I love this sweater. I just love this sweater. The little sweater jacket. So cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Gretchen. Thank you so much. Okay. You guys, there is still... Okay. Last thing. Last thing. I'm like... Oh my goodness. Gretchen, I just want to tell you how much this means to me. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm so glad that I, you know, found your channel. Your channel popped up and I was just like, wait, who's little Gretchen's workshop? I've never seen this channel before. Why? Why have I never seen your channel? Why am I just now finding it? Okay, tiny friends, so this is the last one. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> she sent me one of her carpet bags oh, that she makes with the clips. They're actually uh, paper clips that... Oh, and you know what? I moved my stuff. Hold on one second. Okay, I have itty bitty ones, but she actually uses these type of clips to create these type of bags, only, of course, a larger one. And, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at those precious stones, those little embellishments. Oh my God, those are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just love your work, Gretchen. I'm so in love with your little miniatures, your work. Oh, and when I first saw you make this carpet bag, I said, oh my gosh, she's making a carpet bag. And I actually have some carpet type material fabric that's kind of like this, just different pattern, of course, um, that I want to try this. Isn't this fabulous, tiny friends? Gretchen, thank you. Thank you so much. I first learned about the carpet bags in a history class in college. We were learning about scallywags and carpet baggers. And the carpet baggers carried carpet bags. So when I first saw you making one, I thought, oh my gosh, I cannot believe she's making a carpet bag. I just knew right away what it was. I'm so in love with it. And the little straw bag to go with the sun hat and this roasted chicken. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to add a little more to this plate. I love this so much. Look at how great this is. I, I just can't even get over it. It just looks so delicious <laughs> and so real. They are going to feast on this for sure. This is just amazing. I, I cannot believe you sent me this. I am so excited that you sent me this after watching how you make these. I'm just in awe in the little carrots and the garnish. And it's amazing. It's amazing. 
Wow, I'm speechless. I am truly speechless. And the little lamp is just lovely. The vase and all the supplies. And what a great surprise. Thank you so much, Gretchen. I love this little lamp. It's great. It's got a great little detailed uh, base to it. It's just lovely. And you can't even tell that it was handmade. That's what's so great about it. It does not even look handmade. It's so well made. Ah, oh, I love your visions. I love your miniature visions. I thought I would have this video up and then I received this box and decided to put this footage in the mix. So going back to the first box <laughs> and the ending of the video. Um, I just want to thank you so much, Gretchen. This was a wonderful gift. I love everything. I just really want to say that by the time the Josephine house is finished, when I'm working on the house or, you know, when I'm creating things for the house, I am truly blessed to have all these little bits and pieces of you all in the house, whether it's something I was inspired by to create, whether it was something I learned how to create from you, whether it was a gift that you have given me, whether it was from some of my favorite channels, whether it was from some of the channels that I have been watching for years before I even created my own channel, um, after I created my channel, you know, it doesn't matter whether you are just here as a viewer and a supporter, uh, it is truly a treasure. It is truly, truly a treasure to have all of these parts of everybody in this house. And that's what makes it truly special. And it is very hard to express how I feel, how much, you know, that means to me. So I just want to thank you all. And I want to thank everybody that has um, contributed to the Josephine house in any way. So I definitely could not be doing this without any of you all. And it is very, very meaningful that you all are a part of my journey in some way, in some form. Uh, looking back years ago, I would have never thought that I would be here where I am today. It's just a wonderful feeling. It doesn't matter if it's a physical item or an inspired piece or just knowing that you're here to support. It is all in the same package for me. Thank you so much, Gretchen, for the wonderful gift. I hope you enjoy your special package. I had so much fun creating it, and I cannot wait to see your unboxing. That is my favorite part. That's the best part of creating the gift for me, is to see their reaction or to see the joy that they may express. I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. If so, please give it a thumbs up and click that like button and let me know what you thought in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Gretchen's unboxing and see what I sent to her. As always, I like to thank you all for subscribing. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you all for your support. Until next time, tiny friends. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you all on the mini side. Bye-bye.